Hello, Pewter people. Scott Reynolds here with the new Pewter Pulse. There is a new addition to the Bucks quarterback room, and it could be quite significant. Pewter Report broke the story on Wednesday that Tampa Bay was going in a different direction at the number three quarterback spot on the depth chart, signing former Tulane star Michael Pratt to the practice squad instead of veteran John Wolford, who was the number three quarterback last year and throughout the offseason. What does this mean for Kyle Trask, and how could it affect the quarterback position in Tampa Bay over the long haul? I'll get to that in just a moment. But first, your reminder to hit the thumbs up button, give us a like, and also leave a comment. Love the comments. Doing those two things helps us with the YouTube algorithm, gets us in front of more awesome Bucks fans like you. Now, on to today's Peter Pulse topic the arrival of new Bucks quarterback Michael Pratt, who was just released by the Green Bay Packers, the team that selected him in the seventh round of this year's draft. If you followed Pewter Report's draft coverage in the spring, the name Michael Pratt is not new to you. Pratt was Pewter Report's day three Bucks best bet at quarterback. Now reported back in April that the team was poised to draft Pratt with their final selection, but Green Bay beat Tampa Bay to the punch. The Bucks wound up drafting Washington tight end Devin Culp instead, and now both Culp and Pratt are in red and pewter, so it all worked out in the end. Pratt popped up on my radar in the 2021 season opener against the Oklahoma Sooners. That's when the Green Wave nearly upset Oklahoma. On the road, Pratt led a furious fourth quarter comeback that fell just short. But against a talented Sooners defense, he threw for nearly 300 yards and three touchdowns with no interceptions. And he also had a rushing score and a 40 to 35 loss. Then the next year, Pratt and the Green Wave rolled into Manhattan, Kansas to beat my Wildcats for an impressive road win. That proved to be quite a victory as K-State went on to win the Big 12 championship that year, beating unbeaten TCU at the time, while Tulane finished 12-2 and and ranked number nine in the country, capping off that season with a 46-45 to come-from-behind win over Caleb Williams and USC in the Cotton Bowl. Pratt, who hails from Florida, was a four-year starter for the Green Wave and a winner with plenty of moxie. He posted a 21-3 record at Tulane over his final two seasons, and he threw 49 touchdowns to just 10 interceptions over that span. Pratt also has functional mobility in the pocket and ran for over 1,000 yards and 28 rushing touchdowns in his four years with the Green Wave. He'll need some time to develop as he never had a quarterback's coach at Tulane, and he had four different offensive coordinators over his four years as the starter. So what does this mean for Kyle Trask, the Bucks' backup quarterback, and for Tampa Bay's quarterback room for the long term? Trask, a second-round pick in 2021, is coming off his best preseason yet, completing 65% of his passes for nearly 400 yards, with three touchdowns and one interception in August. But Trask is in a contract year, and he'll be a free agent next March. The Bucs wouldn't mind re-signing him to a short-term deal as Baker Mayfield's backup, but Trask may just want to see if there's a better situation out there in 2025. At the very least, Pratt's audition gives the Bucs some cover at quarterback if he winds up impressing the team enough to stick around and re-sign next offseason should Trask depart in March. Of course, the best case scenario is that Trask and Pratt both resign, and there's an open competition for the primary backup job next year behind Baker Mayfield. Assuming he pans out, acquiring Pratt now saves the team from being forced to use a draft pick on a quarterback next year. Now the Bucs can draft a quarterback if they want to in 2025, not necessarily because they have to. And historically, it's a good thing to have a Tulane Green Wave quarterback on the Bucks roster. Tampa Bay has never won a Super Bowl without one. Former Green Wave star Sean King, a second-round pick in 1999 in Tampa Bay, was a third-string quarterback on that 2002 team that won Super Bowl 37. And Ryan Griffin was the third-string quarterback when the Bucs won the most recent Super Bowl in 2020. He is also a Tulane Green Wave alum. He was the third stringer, of course, behind Tom Brady and Blaine Gabbert. So 
having Michael Pratt as a third string quarterback this year. Let's see what it holds for your Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The Bucs are moving on from John Wolford, who quite frankly was, was too small and injury prone to play quarterback at the NFL level. Pratt has more upside, and we'll see if his return to the Sunshine State makes the future of the Bucs quarterback room even brighter. Well, we want you to subscribe to Pewter Report TV. That's our YouTube channel. That'll brighten your day right there. And also make sure you check out all of our Bucks content on the channel. My Pewter Pulse episodes, our Pewter Report podcast, the practice videos and interview clips, they're going to be there at Pewter Report TV for your enjoyment. Make sure you're following us on social media on X, Facebook, and Instagram at Pewter Report. And visit pewterreport.com for the latest injury updates, inside scoop, and game coverage, along with our expert analysis. And I'll be back soon with a new Pewter Pulse.